This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I got a great article about how Johnny takes the gloves off against Hollywood and the corporations, and I'm loving seeing it. When I started this channel here, it was against SJW's wokeness and cancel culture. Now, at that time, the situation with Amber was in the news, but Johnny was pretty quiet. He was going along his business. He was rolling with the punches. He was saying some things in defense of himself, but he didn't really take off the gloves like he does now. And I think it's because he's having this divorce with Hollywood and he's accepting that the relationship will probably never be the same. So I'm gonna read the article, get into a few points. It also mentions a show that Johnny's making. I think it's a cartoon. They've got some details in there. Sounds pretty cool. But my main point here obviously is about how he's calling out Hollywood. So let's get into it. Here's the article from Italy 24 News. It's titled, Giant Depp Crowded in Rome. Hollywood is a hellish machine that spits platitudes. Thank goodness I distanced myself from it. Which is one of the greatest things I've seen an actor say in a very long time. There are a few actors against cancel culture here and there, a couple of big ones, but not so many. So seeing Johnny say something great like this is amazing. It really brings him full circle from greatness to greatness. Now, his trip has been bumpy lately. And I gotta say something I really don't want people to take the wrong way, but it has to be said. If this thing with Amber Heard never came up, these allegations, this court case, this hoax, then he wouldn't be saying these things. He'd probably be going along with his franchise he might be thinking these things, he might know these things, he might say these things years down the line in his 70s or something, but probably not right now. And the reason he's got the freedom to say this is because of what's going on, is because they've all, for one, been too scared to stick up for him as far as the fellow actors. The CEOs, corporations, directors, people like that don't wanna work with him because they're scared. Then you also have the SJW side who is not too many at the moment, but who do believe Amber and stick by Amber and want to see Mera and things like that. And all these people, when you put it all together, amounted to Johnny Depp getting honest, basically. Letting it out now. When he thought of all these people that just really wronged him, that didn't stand by him, he needs to say things like this. And it's a specific thing. This doesn't really involve his fans like you and me who watch his movie and just like him for his music and things like that. This really has to do with the bad side of the fandom and the people who either were too scared to stand up for him, which is understandable to a certain extent, but also the people who were vocal against him because they were scared. Anyway, let's get into this a little more, see what he says. Hollywood is a machine that spits platitudes lacking in understanding and knowledge. It is perfect for going on vacation. Thank goodness I have distanced myself from it. That is a place to go on vacation, but it is a hellish machine. Okay, so I guess he's saying in a nice way, hate to live there, but nice place to visit. Acclaimed, idolized, literally besieged by hordes of teenagers, disguises himself, but with some extra pounds, Giant Depp has finally arrived in the capital. The bang of Alice de Sita, the autonomous and parallel section of the Rome Film Festival, he brought with him the unmistakable aura of Cursed Star. Something so tangible, powerful, and concrete that it emanates from his way of being and placing himself to the point that he can rightly declare that Johnny doesn't do it, he really does. And it's no wonder that Hollywood and her career have taken the path of divorce. The debate, if anything, is to figure out who really left whom. Well, Hollywood is actually two different entities. One is the fans and the good people in Hollywood. You can't say the whole thing's bad. There's people working on the movies, people who are standing by Johnny, but there is that other half of that wokeness and the people who are covered in fear to speak their minds even when the truth is right in front of them, like the LAPD cam footage, like the lies that Johnny's ex-wife has been caught in, like all the people standing up for Johnny who can't be ignored, like dozens of them. So it's kind of unfair to say Hollywood is this one thing. 
So that's why I'm saying he's really targeting the bad people in Hollywood. But if anything, if I had to answer that question, Hollywood left him. His participation in the event directed by Gina Luca Gianelli and Fabio Bettini is linked to the presentation of the animated web series Puffins produced by L.I.B.E. For which he lent his voice to the character of Johnny Puff, which is the character he's playing called Johnny Puff. And Johnny Puff sounds kind of cool. I mean, it's not exactly the kind of character I'd like that Johnny would play compared to, say, Donnie Brasco or a badass cop in City of Lies or the AI professor in Transcendence. I like the more R-rated leaning stuff, but okay, it's got a nice ring to it. A totally Made in Italy series consisting of independent episodes lasting five each. Each of them is bearer of an educational message, explains Andrea Lavellino, and apparently it is precisely this edifying element that prompted the most famous pirate in the history of cinema to embrace the project. Depp came up with a whole new language to provide his animated character, it's a matter of version resulting from the study of children's ways of expressing themselves, but also of volumes of child psycholinguistics. Anyway, there you have it. And I got to get back to the point I was making about Johnny. You could say coming out of his shell, but I would say evolving. He's evolving into the person he should be. Coming from somebody who's been here, who's got over... 1700 videos against SJW's wokeness, cancel culture. I really love to see such a name like Johnny Depp say such great things, well, great to me, about Hollywood. Now I gotta say, if he was going on normally with his career, he'd have no reason to say these things. And ultimately, they're the right things to say. What Johnny Depp said in that article is absolutely correct. Whether he should have said it, whether it's a good thing he said it, that's a whole debate. That's a whole opinion. There are definitely, definitely negative things that might come to him for saying that. However, he's telling the truth. Anyway, great article. I tried my best on the Italian names. I think I got them like halfway right at least. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks. Things like that. If you're not subscribed here and you consider it and you still don't subscribe, I guess I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.